What we have here today is a Sony SMC 210D6 computer. And no, this is not a laptop. It might look like a laptop, but it is not. It is a portable computer. It does not have a battery. Um, let's just go over the ports real quick. Power switch, simple AC in. Um, Full-size RS-232C serial port. 25-pin uh, D-sub connector for a 5 and a quarter inch floppy. Printer port. Expansion bus port. A mouse connector, which I have no idea what type of mouse this would take. I've never seen this sort of connector before. Well, used as a mouse anyway. I've seen this sort of connector on a car stereo. But that wouldn't help here, obviously. Analog RGB out and a um, composite video out. Unfortunately, this has been damaged slightly. As you can see, it's cracked here around the mounting ports. But here's the other side. It does have a modem on it, ACP connector, and phone jacks. That ACP is for your acoustic coupler. I'm not sure why there's a $30 sticker on there. I did not pay $30 for this. Um, nothing on this side. It is fairly dirty. But this, this side here is the side with the broken latch. But interesting part of it is when you open it up, the whole back of it kind of slides out to pivot on the screen like that but this is is not part of the hinge this is actually a separate cover that opens up it's a metal cover and it's tagged um, Sony SMI 2100 LCD unit. But that covers up here. We have some dip switches for LCD and CRT selection, bold and regular type for the display. Display mode 1, display mode 2, which I'm not sure what they do. Uh, grayscale and mono selection and internal and external booting. Alright, so let's open it up and see what's under the cover here. It's a standard reflective LCD display. It is not backlit or anything as you can see here and here for the keyboard have our function keys to the left here and a standard XT style keyboard and just as my ThinkPad has I love the fact that this simply has a BS key that could come in so handy in real life. Just hit the BS key. Anyway, the floppy drives are kind of neat on this. Um, but we do, we before I get to that, we have sound level selection, high, low, and off. This should have like a little slider switch on here that's missing, I believe, anyway. Either that or it's supposed to have some kind of cover over that. Um, power LED. Caps lock, num lock, and scroll lock keys um, just have their own internal LEDs, like a standard XT keyboard. Um, floppy drives are kind of neat. They pop up like that. And the drive is actually fixed in the, um, in the base of the unit. 
All right, so let's get back on this onto the screen here. Simple control on the screen, contrast, that's it. Over to the left-hand side, we have a little compartment that when you open it up, you have the broken tab from the display latch, as well as two little, little cards here that can go in in this spot where this little blank plastic is. This one is for MS-DOS um, commands, for function commands, and this one is for communications function commands, which is kind of neat that that is still with the computer. All right, so let's try powering it up, see what happens. Hopefully we'll be able to see this on the display here. Because this isn't the greatest of displays. Sony microcomputer and it's counting up the memory. I have no idea of the specifications of this computer, but I'm guessing it's a uh, either an 8088 based or an 8086 based, probably running it somewhere between uh, five to seven megahertz. That's just a guess. Uh, probably help if I had the disc in there. MS-DOS 2.11, Sony BIOS release 1.1, current date is 1-1-1980, we'll just go with that. And we'll just do a directory listing, unfortunately I don't have any other programs to run on here right now. Uh, be it basic or anything else. So, so we'll just do a directory list. Simple basic DOS software. And you can see, let me see if I can zoom in on the screen. You can see how pixelated it is. Of course, it's a monochrome display. It's not going to be that great to begin with. Um, but normally, at, at this point in time, most LCD displays where you're probably about that high. So this is kind of stretched out, and it is very, very large pixels on it, as you can see. You can see the pixels just without even having text displayed on them. But that's about all we're going to get out of it for now because, well, like I said, I don't have anything else to run on it. But there we go. The Sony SMC210 computer, personal computer. Thanks for watching.